Finally, we have an entry on GBPUSD. Guys, you already know I love GBP so much. And this time we have a buy entry. Okay, it's not a swing trade. It is a trade that you, either you can scalp or hold for a few days and then you exit. Why? Because we are just targeting 50 pips. So by, the, by you watching this video, this is what you'll get. Number one, you will get how we do entries, more so when you are entering a trade. Number two, you'll be able to know exactly the things that we have to check before even you place a trade. Because this trade already has confirmed I have entered my trades, I'm on buy, GPPSD, targeting only 50 pips. So the question is, will it hit our take for? That's the question. Okay, so on the monthly time frame, I'm still telling you guys the double bottom on the 1985. So I'll not go back to it because already guys, you know, there's a double bottom at 1985, but let's see. Monthly time frame broke. There's a resistance that was broken on the monthly time frame. So this market broke this resistance. So the market broke this resistance sometimes back because it broke on June, June of this year. And the market after it broke another month of breaking, and for me, I consider this as a, um, I, I consider it as a, we call it what a retracement. But you see, on a higher time frame, like if monthly they wanted to give us like a double bottom, they would have activated that double bottom. The fact they didn't activate that double bottom, we can't get entry using monthly. So monthly, uh, for me, it's more of a sell than even buying. Uh, we go to the weekly time frame. When you go to the weekly time frame, we have this double top that is no longer on the weekly and it's almost hitting half. So this double top is the only double top that was making me uh, feel that I really need to do what I really need to. This is the double top that was making me, I really need to avoid buying GBPUSDY because the market has to come to here. But the fact that this double top does not have RBS, it gave me a bit of uh, confidence. If the market does not have RBS, of course, that double top does not have a future to go to the hub. Now, we had like a ranging channel. So where the buy started is this like a double, a small double bottom. We can call it a small double bottom or a, or, or a ranging that broke neckline. So the fact that this market came and broke through, it's what is giving me uh, encouragement that this market can buy. Can you see? So the fact that on the weekly, that's what we have, this market for me, I'm thinking it is gonna buy. And you see where it's buying? That distance up to 26 years. So that's the actual distance the market should buy to. So the question is, how do I enter buy? Have you seen the reason why for entering this trade? It's because if you can't see a ranging channel, just take it as a, uh, if you can't see a double bottom, take it as a ranging channel. So the market should at least go that distance. So the question is, how do we enter this buy? How do we enter this buy? So I count on the, on the I come on the daily time frame. I find another obstacle of this double top that happened to break. So this double top for me, I believe it's like a, well, how can I, we call it? Like it's a obstacle. They might use it, but for me, I feel like it's an obstacle. So this double top, you see the market comes and break half. So the market breaks half. So already we have half broken. So majority, are selling GBPUSD, which is good because banks and market makers are true. They are looking for where majority, which direction the majority are taking. So majority in this in this case, they want to do what? They want to sell. They want to sell GBPUSD. But you see, there's nothing that can make this market to come up. Another thing I have, uh, what, what, the, what kind of do we call this? Like we have like a dragonfly. So this dragonfly is telling us that the market, there's something that is making this market to go down, to go up, even after having this double top. Now, the good thing is that when I flip to four hour, I realized we have this double bottom. There's this very, very clear double bottom. Can you see this guys? And that's the double bottom that we are now, um, what are we calling it? 
That's the double bottom that we are now capitalizing on. So if I check the double bottom and I check my half, the half has been done what? We have the, we have the half, we have the neckline, we have the double bottom. The half has RBS. So having RBS, double bottom, so we have to check, we have RBS, we have double bottom. Let's check if this double bottom is on the daily. So we have something like that. Can you see? So is it on the daily? We want to check, is it on the daily? It's not on the daily. So for me, I believe the reason why the market is not on the daily, it means whatever for our says, that's what it will do. So we normally enter a trade using CRD. So GBPUSD, we are entering using CRD. And what has happened is that the CRB has confirmed. Let me see. The market has broken. Uh, we have CRB confirmed. Let's see. So the market has confirmed broken CRB and it's on the way to the half. The right half is 23.06. So from where it is, the market will go around 66 pips. That's why I'm telling you this is not a swing trade. This is just a day trade or a scalping trade where you're targeting around 50 pips and you're done. Again, I have told you, I cannot assume, I cannot assume this trade uh, with the others. You, you see what I was telling you, I cannot assume. So I had to go to GBPUSD, another broker, to see am I having the same thing. So this is FXCM. Um, everything is saying the same thing. And then I have GBPUSD. Paper stone. Everything is talking the same thing. Like there is no hidden candles. Yeah, so we need to be very, very sure. More so when it comes to candles. So the market has confirmed all the brokers that I normally check. So the brokers have confirmed. FXCM have confirmed. So GBPUSD is a buy trade. All you need to do is that if you are watching this video, you have to comment where do you think the trade is. Do you, do you think the, the trade is um, has hit take profit? Do you think the, tap, the trade is stubborn? Stubborn means it is ranging. It has not hit the take profit. Do you think the trade is a loss? Do you think the trade was a quick take profit hit? You have to comment why. If you start seeing these kind of videos, it will help you to start making decisions. These are kind of videos that can help you make a decision. So according to GBPUSD, you already have a buy entry. So for me, I've already entered and I'm waiting for, my take profit is at 2300. That's almost like 60 pips. So if you enter right now and the market has not hit 2300, it means you still have a chance. So because I will upload these videos tomorrow, uh, I'm waiting, I cannot wait. Once the entry, you know, the live trades will be, once the entry has been given out, it's my work to, 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 to give you all. They are almost giving us an entry. So that's what I've decided. To do such a trade, I need to make sure that the trade has given out. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope uh, you'll make the 50 pips or 60 pips with GBPUSD. And then another thing, tomorrow we have... Um, by the time you're watching this video, there will be news on GBPUSD. So the news may have made this market to hit the TP or will have affected. So even knowing that there is news, it's another thing from the movement of the market. So thank you so much, guys. All the best. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Love you.